Hello and welcome. My name is Mark Eppner. I'm a Chicago-based pilot with over half of my 2,000 plus hours in a Cirrus SR-22. Currently, I fly this 2011 normally aspirated G3, but also fly other aircraft whenever the opportunity presents itself. I love flying every bit as much as you do and look for ways to share that common bond through multiple paths, including this channel, as well as Simple Flight Aviation Radio, which you can find at simpleflight.net. My goal for the channel is to share my passion for aviation with others that share that same sentiment and do so with an eye towards proficiency, safety, and fun. In last week's video, I shared my startup, taxi, and takeoff procedures as I embarked on an IFR flight to Illinois Valley Airport. A link to that video is found in the comments section below. It was interesting, I was contacted by some viewers that were not pilots with an interest in the behind the scenes look at piloting. So a quick clarification is that pilots get to choose generally whether to fly under visual flight rules, VFR, or instrument flight rules, IFR. IFR is required in certain airspace or under certain weather conditions, and it's a very structured process with communication with air traffic control and a required flight plan. VFR potentially needs no radio contact with ATC, and pilots can generally go where they want, when they want, how they want, and never have to talk to anyone other than other airplanes that may be in the area. So this flight is going to be conducted under IFR because I know I will have to climb through clouds, which is a no-no for BFR, and also because it helps me to remain proficient flying IFR and communicating with ATC. So I'm going to pick up the last flight as I depart from Chicago Executive Airport and transition to the en route, approach, and landing segments of the trip. Last week's was all about preparing for flight. But now that I'm in the air, my focus is staying ahead of the airplane. That means anticipating radio frequency changes, what runway I'll be landing on, what procedures I'll have to fly to execute an approach so that the runway is in front of me when I come out of the clouds. Now the clouds are a little bit higher than I expected, so we'll pop out kind of early, but the process and procedures will remain the same. So enough talk, let's go flying. Sure, three, sir, Delta, contact Chicago, departure, good morning. Over to departure, thanks. Three Sierra Delta. And Chicago departure, Cirrus 9 or 7 3, Sierra Delta 1900, climbing 3360. November 9 7 3, Sierra Delta, Chicago departure, ident, and uh, climb and maintain 4000. Climb maintain 4000, and you got the ident. Change in altitude. Have a McTree Sierra Delta, it's right of contact. Two miles, actually three miles north of the executive airport. Turn left, heading of 300. Left turn, 300. Three Sierra Delta. 1,000 to go. 200 to go. Target altitude reached. Full throttle back. Number three, Sierra Delta, fly heading 270. Left turn 270, three, Sierra Delta. It's important to get trimmed early. Let the autopilot while I get set here. Okay. Chicago departure, Bonanza 78 Hotel, Foxhide, is out of the executive, climb through 1.1. Landing light is off, boost bump is off, and I'm leaning, leaning, 74% power, so it's going to be about 19 gallons per hour. I know that sounds a lot to some of you. Executive airport, climb and maintain 3,000. Let's go to 18, all right, all the numbers are good. All right, I know my next frequency is going to be 1210, so I'm going to set that up. I have established contact with Chicago Approach. Let's go through our checklist. Fuel pump is off, cruise power is set. Mixture lean is required, engine parameters are monitored, fuel flow and balance. I'll set up for my descent checklist next. Exit out. That's it. Okay.
Chicago Approach, 662 Charlie Hotel, 5.2 for 4,000. That's a fire. And we've got information, Juliet. Well, from 662 Charlie Hotel, Chicago Approach. Thanks for Juliet. You can plan the RNAV to runway 16, fly your present heading. I'm going to hand fly this. So I'm going to turn off the autopilot. All right, so we hit flight plan now. 20010 gust 15. So we have a runway 18. We'll plan that. 10 miles overcast 1000. So we'll break out kind of early. Uh, so now, actually, when I want to brief, I'll go ahead and put the autopilot back on. And I'm going to say show chart. And approach. RNAV GPS 18. LPVDA is 904. However, there is a NOTAM, and it's, I think, 934. I'll confirm that. Airport elevation 654. The 3100 is their MSA. On a missed approach, we're going to climb 2500 direct to Markwell, and I'm going to hold there. Use local altimeter setting. If not received, use Marshall County. I'm pretty sure I'll get it. BDP and barrel nav not authorized with Marshall. DME RNA not authorized. Helicopter visibility reduction below three quarters of not authorized. Pilot controlled lighting, 1230. So I've got 1230 there. Three feet uh, out of contact back. Rockford approach, 121.0. 1210, thanks. Three Sierra Delta. Rockford approach. There is nine or seven three Sierra Delta. Good morning. We are at four thousand and heading two seven zero. Zero nine seven three Sierra Delta Rockford approach. Rockford altimeter two nine or seven eight. Expect direct Illinois Valley here about maybe ten miles. All right, two nine seven eight. We'll expect the vectors. Thanks much, three Sierra Delta. All right, LPV DA is moved from the nine oh four to nine thirty four by NOTAM. So always check your NOTAMs. So what I'm going to do now is. Uh, Go back, and then I'm going to hit Procedure. I'm going to select Approach. I'm going to select the RNAV GPS 1-8. I'm going to get Shoof, I believe. Let me assume that for now. Shoof, minimums. You can set it here or elsewhere. I'm going to set it at 934. Enter. And I'm going to load that approach. Bonanza, November, right. approach Bonanza, 7, 8, Hotel, Fox, I have burned 5.7 gallons when I hit 000. 6 because I was a little bit high on the other. It'll be about the time seven, eight, Hotel, Fox, Trout, to change, approach, and then I'll do it every 5 uh, gallons after that. Okay, let's pick up ATIS. Ceiling 1,200. Overcast temperature 2, 1 Celsius. 2.17 altimeter 2, 9 or 8, 2. 2, 9 or 8, 2. We went up to 2, 9 or 8, 2, so now we got to lower our nose. Back to 4,000. Illinois Valley Regional Airport. Automated weather observation 1, 6, 3, 4. Zulu weather wind. One eight zero at one five visibility one zero ceiling one thousand two hundred overcast temperature two one Celsius three point one seven altimeter two nine eight two. Okay, we've got the weather. Here's nine seven three Sierra Delta contact Chicago Center one two three point seven five. Good day. Twenty three seventy five. Appreciate the help. Three Sierra Delta. 2375, I thought that might be. Southwest 399, Chicago, fire to send via the MB4 arrival, 2-2 left transition, midway altimeter, 2 9 or 8 4. Chicago Center, good morning, it's Sirius 9 or 7-3, Sierra Delta, we're 4,000, direct destination, with the local weather. Remember, uh, 903 Sierra Delta, Chicago, sorry, valley altimeter, 2 9 or 8 2, do you also have the uh, current NOTAMs, and what approach are you requesting? 
Uh, looking for the uh, Arnav 1-8, maybe a Chouf would be, well, we're coming upon Chouf, but that would work for us. And as far as Notams, I, I believe so, I've got the Notam for a higher decision altitude. Order November, uh, 3 3 Delta, I'm showing some power lights out at the uh, decision altitude. And or 3 3 Delta, clear direct to Chouf. Clear direct Chouf, 3 3 Delta. So we highlight that, direct, enter, enter. And we turn here. So three stairs up, you are four miles from Shoof, cross Shoof at 4,000, cleared for the RNAV runway 18 approach, Valley Airport. Cle cross Shoof, 4,000, cleared for the RNAV 18 at uh, Illinois Valley, three stair Delta. Okay, so we're 4,000. I'm going to start slowing down. I'm going to go ahead and switch tanks now. Two. I'm going to do my checklist. Altimeter is set. I'm actually going to use the autopilot while I go through that. Cabin heat, landing light is coming on. Fuel system, I just changed again. Mixture and brake pressure is checked. Before landing seat belts, fuel pump, I'll have at the right to mixture. Flaps as required, autopilot is required. All right, exit out of that. So now we just have this, and we're at 4,000. We're activated. And we are cleared. So I'm now staying cleared. I'm going to push the APR button, which now puts me, as I look at the scoreboard, I am now going to have vertical guidance as well. And so what I'm going to do is, again, I'm going to uh, use the flight director. I got 123. Actually, I don't have 123 in there. Let me put that in there as the next frequency. And I'm turning off the autopilot. Okay, reaching Shoof, that'll give us a left turn. I'm in slow, take a little bit of power out. Southwest 1014, contact Chicago approach, 119 point three five. Okay. Vertical path is green now, flashing green, meaning it's activated. We're going to roll our nose and follow the vertical path down to 2,500 feet. Chicago Center, 9243 pop is with you at 9. Sir, 9243 right, I'm going to slow down to, Chicago put it to 18 inches, which is about 40% for those using percent. November 3, Sierra Delta, report cancellation of IFR, this frequency if enabled through flight service change advisory frequency is approved. All right, changing, and we, and we will advise from canceling 3, Sierra Delta. All right, so I can move it over to 123. Zero. 200 feet to go. One mile. Illinois Valley traffic, uh, red Cirrus 973 Sierra Delta. Arnav, uh, right at flap speed, so this is good. At 17 and a half inches, I'm at 120 knots. 119 actually is flap speed, but I'm basically reaching. A little bumpy at the top of the clouds here. Here comes the dot, go to 11 inches, one notch of flaps, and lower the nose to stay on the glide slope. And that's 100 knots, perfect. Five hundred foot per minute descent. Illinois Valley, Red Cirrus on a two-mile final for one, one, runway 18, Illinois Valley. Question traffic. Stage for, um, sky like 451 uniform, turn stage runway 18, question. All right. And I am going to quickly switch over. And Chicago Center, uh, Cirrus Niner 73, Sierra Delta, runway inside at Illinois Valley. We'd like to cancel IFR at this time. Cell number 923, Sierra Delta. Cell number 923, Sierra Delta. IFR cancel is received. Walk VFR and have a good day. All right, we're squawking VFR. Thanks for the help. Niner 73, Sierra Delta. 
So as I finish this approach, I feel compelled to agree with the many pilots that are yelling at me right now, yelling at their phones or computers, asking why I canceled my IFR flight plan. And you're doing that because you know that because I canceled the flight plan, Air Traffic Control, ATC, has forgotten about me and I have no clearance to enter the cloud should I have a missed approach at the airport. And of course, that can happen for multiple reasons, like an animal on the runway, an unstable approach, or momentary loss of the required visibility. So you're 100% right. I was being lazy because I didn't want to make a phone call on the ground to cancel the flight plan. In partial defense of my laziness, because the ceilings had moved up to 1,200 feet, I could have gone missed and still entered the pattern while remaining clear of the clouds. But next time, I'm going to wait till I am safely parked on the ramp. What else did you guys see that you wanted to comment on? Please leave your comments and thoughts below. So that completes today's flight. I'm glad you were able to join me and hope you enjoyed it. The goal was to stay ahead of the airplane. That meant anticipating what I needed to do and leveraging the automation provided, including the effective use of the autopilot when I was focused on non-flying tasks. Until next week... Blue skies and tailwinds.